Uh, where does one go after such a lively, varying net dive into the Melty Blood game grid, right? Like, the wanting to resume training on Melty Blood will come and go because it's relevant to the need of playing with a purpose. I did seek to play new characters with Alco so this can be worked into application. Even I know not where I'm going. In my opinion, I still believe PSN Melty is so unexplored because of the general accessibility and relevance of interest. The want to play the game comes only from seeing the engagement of others, not you originally having it to start the cycle. I want to play the game, I get on, do something, then another might pop up eventually, thus starting a constructive chain effect. In this case, the other way around, where you're waiting for the first person to start in, then you join in. However long that is in such a sprinkled community. That's the problem, and it's also my damn point. I believe many of the few PSN people showcasing Melty Blood on console had great intentions, but didn't try to focus it around their interest to do it, just their interest to show it. Knowing a Melty or a Unicene will occasionally struggle to spark that jumpstart of interest because it's not a big IP address, the start of said chain reaction is where this wrong or execute it was where this was wrong or where it executed incorrectly because of not having a starting point to drive off from. It goes back to the point I made on Twitter or X about showing yourself having fun on the game and then others have a good chance of joining in on the session because of that fun. It spreads like infectious laughter. It then dictates the gradual narrative of there being more to look forward to getting on that sitting. Either on the game, or this person, or this avenue, the platform. However people find you, some eventually do, and seek games because that's how it works, and that's how it continues. The host just taking it away as an off-brand solution <clears throat> to not playing the game themselves in hopes of triggering the correct chain reaction, this was the incorrect response. Nothing directly fun or new happens, so the opposite of the marketing effect happens instead to the product, where lack of engagement is apparent. Borderlining failing to promote effectively, seizing the key parts of that falling off point to a product is the correct response in order to appropriately and prosperously capitalize. Uni2 replacing that thought with a few people's mindsets is such a half-assed plan that avoids the problem. Both games have the same company and are in the same situation so it doesn't make a difference in their popularity. It's not in any better of a position than Melty Blood. A patch however does put it in a better position. And I've advocated for this. Time immemorial. Melty Blood literally just had a patch earlier this year. Whereas Uni2 hasn't had shit since it got here in early February. And it still hasn't. Evo's on its way. Damn near probably about to pass us before I know it. And they're probably going to talk about the new character. Which I'm guessing is also going to have a patch that comes along with her. And that's fine. But think about that. That patch pending is from February, February, March, April, May, June, July is when EVO's happening, then probably August is when she's coming out. That's six months later that this bitch is finally coming out, and six months later that a fucking patch is relevant from when the game first came out. That's so half-assed. It's such a cluttered misdirection of an investment. But this is also a repeating point of interest with the product's IP. So it's merely just a till the next one rather than the see you next time approach. <sighs> I guess from here, like when I ask myself where do I go next, honestly, PC, as much as I hate to bluntly say that, being a PlayStation console person, and I hate to say that from my mouth, 
but it's honestly the most logical solution to the rift that happens in these situations. Like when people host the last of something, I'm usually lost after that thinking of how I got here versus why it can never continue versus where do I go next from here. Like I cared about striving for better on PSN Melty because it's my main platform for PlayStation and I saw myself going a decent ways into this investment to being a great player despite the struggle of the community's own consistency that negates event consistency or relevance set for their community. This is one of those things I was t thinking about because it's a different pace of community involvement. <clears throat> different pace of community involvement not revolving around how you're feeling that day or that sitting. In the PC gamers realm as opposed to the console gamers. Like my mentality with the game right now falls into that state of playing only when I'm in the mood and not when I'm trying to explore new tech or characters, which there's there's tech all the time. It's just trying to find it is the problem. Uh, maybe this can change after I alter that sentiment about Melty Blood Sun, maybe it won't. But unfortunately my mindset now falls in line with everybody else where you only play Melty Blood when it's a mood to play the game, not when it's a want or a yearning. Because the people, it's not because the company isn't showcasing it, it's because the community isn't doing its part to represent it after the company revitalized the interest to take it that next step. We're not doing and taking those next steps ourselves. <laughs> and it's just a process to get used to a lot of change that's put on a table for the purpose of resumption. But anyway, I just wanted to get that small rant out of the way and go over how I felt about Melty Blood now. Because it's a, it's a directional shift that's forced on me to want to keep playing the game I have to go to PC as opposed to PlayStation when there was a decent amount of people here doing this shit that don't want to do it anymore because of the community's own lack of consistency knowing it's a small IP and you're going to struggle anyways which is why you have to advocate hard that you're doing this you're playing this game you're showcasing this shit and people just weren't doing that and on top and it's just the PlayStation scene has to take another fucking hit but I digress I'm just gonna sit and think about a lot of this shit with Melty Blood but I just want to go over my thoughts with the, the PC versus the PSN. I'll check you later.